Have you ever been confused about what you should buy at the grocery store or what foods are the healthiest foods to buy? Well, today's your lucky day. I'm helping you by breaking down the top 10 foods that you should have on your grocery list to supercharge your health that are extremely delicious and so much fun to cook with. Hey there, foodie friends. If you're new to my channel, I'm Dr. Anna. And this channel is all about you. I am dedicated to bringing you content that will help support your health, make things actionable, easy, give you tips and tools so that you feel charged up and enthusiastic to make your health a top priority. If you're ready, let's dive in. So we're gonna start with some superfoods. Most likely you've heard this term thrown around and it feels like everybody's calling anything a superfood these days. But truthfully, there are some foods that are more nutrient dense than other foods. So here are some of my favorite superfoods that you can incorporate into your diet right away. Berries. Berries are insanely nutritious. Of course, there are many varieties. We have blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and then some less commonly seen berries, like poison berries, marion berries, black raspberries, and so forth. Of course, most people think of strawberries, but no matter which variety you prefer, they are all packed with vitamins and minerals and antioxidants, which are nutritional components that help fight damage in our body that's caused by something called a free radical. Of course, berries are also very rich in fiber and fiber being that bulk aspect of food important at the point of digestion all the way at the end, which is in our colon. The more fiber we have in our diet, the better we can actually absorb water from food that we eat. And of course, not to mention, berries are an amazing, sweet, delicious treat. You can have that as a core component of your breakfast. It can be a snack and of course, it's amazing in desserts. Add it to your yogurt for breakfast or put it in some oatmeal. You can eat them plain. You can blend them into smoothies and so much more. You can make sauces. You can freeze them into freeze pops. And no matter how you eat it, berries are very good for you. Okay, so our next superfood is an obvious one, but it's leafy greens. And leafy greens also come in a ton of varieties. So when I hear leafy greens, the first thing that comes to my mind is spinach and kale. Of course, there are many other types, which are chard, bok choy, Swiss chard, rainbow chard, arugula, wild greens, and so many others. Like berries, kale or spinach are things that you can throw into a smoothie. Of course, these things make amazing salads, or they can be cooked down into other dishes, like casseroles or put in a quiche. Leafy greens are also really packed with nutrition. So we consider these things nutrient dense. They have lots of vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients. So these other little molecules that are found in plants that are extremely healthful for our bodies. In addition to having a lot of that good fiber. Our next food that is very nutrient dense is salmon or oily little fishes. Now these things are really well known for having those omega-3 fatty acids that are so good for our bodies and our hair, our skin, our nails but also for our nervous system, our cardiovascular system, and our immune system. Now, fish can be eaten in so many ways. You can have it raw, like in sushi. You could have it baked in the oven. The opportunities are absolutely endless when it comes to fish. And some of those other oily little fishes that are really healthy for us are things like sardines and anchovies. Now, if you don't love fishy flavors, those are probably not gonna be at the top of your list, but I have to tell you them because they're so healthy for you. All right, our next superfoods is really a category of foods because there are just so many good things about them. It is nuts and seeds. So we have so many reasons why these should be incorporated into our diet. Obviously, this is a really important protein source for somebody who's not gonna eat animals, so vegans or vegetarians, but they have healthy fats, vitamins, minerals, fiber. The flavor profile in these things is extremely complex. So what you can get is this derivative layers of flavor that make amazing things in desserts or to supplement cooking meat or fish. Some of my favorites are pecans and almonds. Of course, now in our grocery stores, we can find a lot of variety of these non-dairy milks, and often these are coming from nuts. But don't forget about seeds. Seeds are so good for your health. Sesame seeds, poppy seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, all of these things are so healthy for you because of their nutrient profile. They have a lot of fiber, and they also have a really long shelf life. So the nice thing is if you buy these things in bulk, they're going to last in your pantry for months. Nuts are also a really great snack. They are so easy to put in a little Ziploc bag, throw them into your purse or your backpack, or send them with your kids to school lunches. You do have to watch out for eating these things around folks who have nut allergies. Okay, and the next superfood is 
pretty much everyone's favorite and it's avocados. I know I don't have to tell you guys how delicious these things are, but to be honest, avocados are not just rich in flavor. They have really healthy fats and believe it or not, a crazy amount of fiber. This is that bulk we were talking about that's really important for your digestion. The nice thing about avocados is they're so versatile. You can chop it up and put it into a salad. You can spread it on toast, avocado toast. Everybody knows about that, but don't be afraid to blend this into a smoothie as well. It adds a crazy creamy texture which is really tasty i know that a lot of people like to do mango and avocado salsas also an amazing use of avocado okay that was a lot five superfoods but to be honest i have five more for you guys our next superfood is quinoa quinoa it's a green but it's actually a complete protein as well what that means is it contains all of the essential amino acids that our body cannot produce itself inside of the food so hey vegans vegetarians you're probably going to want to eat quinoa in your diet of course it's amazing as like a grain bowl but you can just toss it on top of salads as well if you like all right our next superfood if you are a dairy eater it is yogurt now, yogurt we know is a fermented food so what that means is it's a probiotic in our bodies. That means this is some good bacteria that can help support our digestive tract, which is also lined with bacteria. Yogurt is obviously really rich in protein. And if you are trying to limit the amount of fat that you're taking in, you can get a non-fat variety or a low-fat variety. But don't be afraid of the fat that is contained within yogurt. It's super, super delicious. The great thing about yogurt is it can also be a base for sauces or condiments. So if you want to make your own ranch dressing, for example, and you want to try to eliminate some of the thicker creams Greek yogurt is an amazing substitute and if you've ever had Greek food you absolutely must try tzatziki sauce it is to die for the flavors are unbelievable and it's so good with meat so our next superfood is dark chocolate and it is one of those foods that contains a ton of antioxidants just like with anything in life moderation is really key for the next superfood, we have sweet potatoes. Now, the super nutrient dense version is the orange. Why? Because it contains beta carotene, which is a really important phytonutrient that works as an antioxidant or a free radical scavenger inside of our bodies. Sweet potatoes are also amazingly rich in vitamins and minerals. Now, before you start peeling all of your potatoes, pay attention because a lot of the nutrition is actually in the skin. And this goes for all potatoes. All those nice minerals that are in the ground kind of get into the skin and when we peel it off what we leave behind is just kind of the sweet starchy part so if you can tolerate the skin it definitely does help you out nutritionally sweet potatoes are another one of those things that are extremely versatile you can make them into casseroles you can cook them separately like a baked potato i like to roast a potato to dress them up with a little olive oil salt and actually cinnamon and that brings out the sweet flavor in them without adding extra sugar of course sweet potato fries are unbelievably good and you can make sweet potato soups or stews or if you pre-cook them by boiling or steaming them and removing the skin these go great into smoothies my last superfood for you is actually another category and it is teas now, everyone loves to talk about green tea but there are other teas that are extremely healthy for us green tea is really famous for being rich in antioxidants. It is, of course, a beverage that is enjoyed in a lot of Asian cultures, and perhaps that is part of the secret of why they live so long. Green tea does contain caffeine, so if you're somebody who's trying to avoid caffeine, you might want to pick a different variety of herbal tea. Now, you may have noticed that I mentioned that a lot of these different foods have antioxidants, and I hope that, that helps you appreciate. There are a lot of different ways to get a lot of nutrition into your diet. You don't only have to eat certain foods, so if you're telling me, Anna, I just don't like green leafy vegetables like it's really not my thing like okay that's a shame because it's so dense in nutrition but we can work around that there are other ways that you can get those nutrients into your diet with foods you really enjoy okay so there you have it friends i hope you enjoyed these top 10 superfoods that are extremely nutrient dense delicious versatile and a lot of fun to make adding these nutrient dense foods into your diet will overall enhance your health now but also will set you up for a trajectory of health for many years to come. Being a medical doctor, I am always thinking about how we can be healthy at every age. There's no reason that our health needs to decline as we turn another birthday. One of the best ways to maintain your health is by committing to a foundation of a healthy diet that then will allow you to have wiggle room to eat certain things that you like that you know are not supposed to be in your daily life 
like cake, ice cream, etc. But there won't be big consequences on your health from these processed or sweetened foods if your foundation is solid. I will always emphasize this to you guys. The key to health is balance. Balance in every capacity. I want you to enjoy these superfoods, but do not feel stressed out or panicked if you're not ready to take them all on at once. I recommend trying one new thing at a time. If you don't eat any of the foods on my list, pick your favorite one, start there. Over time, you can incorporate more and more healthy foods so that being healthy becomes automatic for you. You have to make it easy for yourself. By committing to one change at a time, you will create that foundation of health that allows you to live a life that is full and vibrant. Thanks for watching, guys. So glad you stuck with me till the end. Congratulate yourself for getting a little bit healthier and I hope learning something new. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite foods are and how you like to eat them. Enjoy, happy eating, see you next time.